Welcome again to Einstein's Grade 10 Math for Canadians. This is Lesson 3 in the Unit of Measurement. Have you tried the exploration questions first? Great! Then you should be ready for the explanation video. In this video lesson we will look at three different topics. First, we will review what a ratio or a rate is and how to use ratio boxes for solving all kinds of problems. Second, we will continue on the imperial measurement system for length units and we will see how we can convert from one unit to another. So we will focus on mile, yard, foot and inch. Third, we will put both measuring systems, imperial and metric, side by side. We will look at the units for measuring length in the one compared to the other so that we can actually do conversions from imperial length to metric length and vice versa. I call this inter-system conversion. Are you ready? In the exploration questions, you have looked at a number of situations where we use ratios. Here is another example. I took this picture of my class in Teachers College. That's quite a few years ago. What is the ratio of boys to girls, or should I say men to women? You can see three clusters of three guys surrounding a group of six young women. So, you could say the ratio of women to men was 6 to 9. Now, ratio numbers do not have to be the real numbers. A ratio is only a number comparison. So, these ratios are equal in value. They are equivalent ratios. 6 to 9, or 2 to 3, or even 10 to 15. Let's say later, when I was a teacher, I had a class with 10 girls and 15 boys. The ratio then would be the same as in this picture. Usually, we want to write a ratio in its simplest form, so that both numbers have no common factor anymore, if we don't count a number 1 as a factor. Ratios are very much like fractions. Fractions we also want to simplify to their simplest form, like in this example. 15 over 20 is 5 times 3 over 5 times 4. The common factor was 5. So, now I can write it as 5 over 5 times 3 over 4. 5 over 5 is 1. So the final answer is 3 over 4. 15 over 20 is the same value as 3 over 4. Or in ratio form, 15 to 20 is the same ratio as 3 to 4. We can also write these ratios under each other or beside each other. For instance, 15 to 20 is the same ratio as 3 to 4. Or, beside each other, 15 to 20 is the same as 3 to 4. There are more ways, of course. These are ratio boxes. So now, in all directions, these are consistent. In the first example, the ratio from 15 to 20 is the same as from 3 to 4. So what is the factor? If I take 15 and I want to get 20, I have to multiply it by 20 over 15 or by 4 over 3. So times 4 third will give me this result. If I want to go from 15 to 3, I have to divide it by 5 or multiply by 1 fifth. And in the last example, if you had done it this way, 4 times something is 20. That is, of course, 5. 
So 3 times 5 is also 15. And finally, if I want to go from 4 to 3, I multiply by 3 over 4. I multiply by 3 over 4. So we have always horizontally and vertically the same ratios. And this is the characteristic of a ratio box. Whenever we have a correct ratio box that has consistent ratios, horizontally and vertically, there is one property that we can always count on. The product of the diagonals has to be the same. Remember these words from grade 7 through 9? Product means the result of a multiplication. And a diagonal is the line segment that connects the opposite angles in a square or rectangle. We've looked at this before. So in this particular case, 3 times 20 must have the same outcome as 4 times 15. 3 times 20 is 60. 4 times 15 is also 60. We reviewed ratios and ratio boxes. Now we will go to the unit conversions. First, imperial length conversions. The units that we have learned are miles, yards, feet, and inches. Remember the key rules. One mile is 1760 yards. One yard is three feet and one foot is 12 inches. So we set up the ratio box. Remember, we put the units on the top. Underneath it, we put the key or the rules. So those are the rules that you had to memorize and we have to see which one we need for each particular question or problem. And then at the bottom of the box, we write the specific details for the question. One will be given and the other will be asked. Example one. Five and a half feet is how many inches? In the top of the box, we write feet and inches. Underneath there, we put the key to solve or to unlock the problem. One foot is 12 inch. And then the information that has been supplied is five and a half foot. So underneath foot, I write five and a half. Looking at the key, we see that to go from foot to inch, I have to multiply by 12. So here also, I have to multiply five and a half feet times 12 inch per foot is 66 inch. Remember the unit. Example two, 189 inch is how many yards? Now here we have an extra step. We have not memorized a rule from inch to yards or yards to inch. So to make it easier up front, I will add an extra column in the box, the column of foot. So now the information supplied is inch. The intermediate step is foot because we have a rule 12 inch is one foot. And then the third column will be under yard because then I go from foot to yard. So now I apply the key or the rule going backwards from the largest unit, one yard is three feet. And since every foot is 12 inch, three feet will be the same as three times 12 is 36 inch. Now we go to the question. The information supplied was 189 inch. So make sure that you put 189 underneath inch. We can go now to foot and then to yard, but we can also do it in one step. Looking at the key, from inch to yard, we have to divide by 36. So here also, I take 189 divided by 36. And the solution is five and a quarter, 5.25 
or five and a quarter yard. Don't forget the unit. Make sure to practice this. We now go to inter-system conversions from imperial to metric or from metric to imperial. We first have to set up the rules or the keys to solve such problems. One inch is how many centimeters? If you put two rulers side by side, one with the imperial side and the other with the metric side, we'll see that one inch is a little more than two and a half centimeters. It's close to 2.54 centimeters or 25.4 millimeters. We usually round it off to 2.5. So one inch is 2.5 centimeters. Rule two, foot to centimeter. One foot is how many centimeters? I look at the measuring tape where it says one foot and I will check how many centimeters that is and it's pretty close to 30. So one foot is 30 centimeters. That makes sense because if one inch is 2.5 centimeters and one foot is 12 inch, 2.5 times 12 is 24 plus 6 is indeed 30 centimeters. The third rule. One yard is how many meters or how many centimeters. When we look at the measuring tape or a meter stick, we will see that one yard or three feet is 90 centimeters or 0 0.9 meters. So actually you could derive this information from the rules that you know already. One yard is three feet. Since one foot is 30 centimeters, one yard is 90 centimeters or 0 0.9 meters. Finally, one more key rule. One mile is how many kilometers? We looked at this in the exploration questions. And so you discovered already that one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. So that is the last rule you have to know for this section. To review the rules, one mile is 1.6 kilometer, one yard is 0 0.9 meter, one foot is 30 centimeter, and one inch is 2.5 centimeter. Example one, 3.5 miles is how many kilometers? Set up your ratio box. Miles, kilometers. The rule or the key that we've learned is one mile is 1.6 kilometers. And underneath there, we fill in the specifics for this question. Given 3.5 miles, so under miles I write 3.5. And the question is, how many kilometers is this? Look at the key. From 1 to 1.6, I have to multiply by 1.6. So I do 3.5 times 1.6 is 5.6 kilometers. The second example. 195 centimeters is how many feet? So, at the top, centimeters, feet. The rule is that for every foot we have 30 centimeters, so 30 goes under centimeters, one goes under foot. The information provided, 195 centimeters. So look at the rule, from 30 to one, you divide by 30. So 195 divided by 30, that would be 6.5 feet. Question three. 315 centimeters is how many inch? Set up your ratio box, centimeters, inch. Every inch is 2.5 centimeters. Under centimeters goes 315. To go from 2.5 to one, I have to divide by 2.5. So 315 divided by 2.5 will give us 126 inch. Last example, eight and a half yards is how many centimeters? 
the units we use yard centimeter the rule one yard is 0 0.9 meters or 90 centimeters so 1 90 that's the ratio 1 to 90 finally the information provided 8.5 yards is how many centimeters from 1 to 90 I have to multiply by 90 so I do 8.5 times 90 and the answer should be 765 centimeters are you ready or do you want to review this one more time you can always replay it again and then practice 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 good luck